Malignant fibrous histiocytoma, pleomorphic sarcoma. Introduction. A rare malignant histiocytic lesion of the bone. Similar in presentation to osteosarcoma, but histologically different, lacks osteoid formation. Also known as undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma. Malignant fibrous histiocytoma is an uncommon, aggressive pleomorphic tumor that originates from the tissue histiocyte or facultative fibroblast. Malignant neoplasm of uncertain origin that arises both in soft tissue and bone. In 2002, the World Health Organization, WHO, renamed it as an undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma. Definition 2. Undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma, UPS previously known as malignant fibrous histiocytoma, MFH, is considered the most common type of soft tissue sarcoma. It has an aggressive biological behavior and a poor prognosis. As in the majority of the cases, UPS affects the extremities, this article focuses on musculoskeletal involvement. Epidemiology. Incidence. Comprises less than 2% of all primary malignant bone tumors. Second most common bone sarcoma in adults after chondrosarcoma. Demographics. Affects individuals 20 to 80 years of age. Highest rates of affected patients in second to fourth decades. More often in males than females. More common in Caucasians than African Americans or Asians. Features. Body location. 75% of cases from appendicular skeleton often metaphysis of long bones the primarily distal femur, proximal tibia, proximal humerus. Risk factors. 25% arise as secondary lesion from bone infarct, Paget disease, or prior radiation genetics mutations of the tumor suppressor gene p53 have been implicated in tumor genesis of secondary MFH of bone. Prognosis. 50% to 60% survival at 5 years worse prognosis with secondary MFH compared to primary lesions pulmonary metastasis common in up to 30% good response, more than 90% tumor necrosis, to neoadjuvant chemotherapy found to have a much better prognosis age younger than 40 years associated with the improved disease-free survival rate. Presentation. History. New, painful mass can present with pathologic fracture symptoms. Pain, constitutional symptoms, fevers, chills, night sweats, and weight loss physical exam. Inspection. Swelling, limp. Motion. Decreased range of motion. Imaging. Radiographs. Recommended views. AP and lateral of the affected area. Findings. The lytic and destructive lesion often in the metaphysis. Variable periosteal reaction. Cortical destruction with soft tissue extension. Radiographs often non-specific. MRI. Indications. Necessary to better characterize the lesion. Findings. Deep-seated heterogeneous mass. Often associated with internal hemorrhage. T1 low signal. T2 high signal. CT scan. Indications. To assess the amount and character of bone destruction. Bone scan. Indications. It may be ordered as part of pretreatment staging. Findings. Shows increased uptake in the adjacent cortex. Image differential diagnosis. In the absence of discernible mineralized tissue, it may be impossible to differentiate by image methods. All the following tumors may also present very similar imaging features when a single lesion is considered, fibrosarcoma, high-grade leiomyosarcoma, high-grade angiosarcoma, malignant primary lymphoma of the bone, metastatic carcinoma, myeloma. Signals of a pre-existing lesion can suggest the diagnosis of MFH. The presence of multiple lesions can suggest metastasis or myeloma, which have to be screened clinically. Image differential diagnosis. Synovial sarcoma. Aggressive fibromatosis. Lytic metastasis. Soft tissue metastases. Myositis ossificans. Benign fibrous histiocytoma. Labs. Elevated WBC. Eosinophilia. Abnormal LFTs. Hypoglycemia. Histology. 
pleomorphic spindle cells and histiocytic cells in a storiform pattern malignant multinucleated giant cells with grooved or indented nuclei. Areas of chronic inflammatory cells. Variable collagen production. Fibrous fascicles radiate from focal hypercellular areas. Hemorrhagic and necrotic regions not infrequent, suggest a high-grade lesion treatment. Operative, similar to osteosarcoma. Neoadjunctive chemotherapy, wide resection, postoperative chemotherapy plus slash radiation. Indications. Standard of care. Chemotherapy. Preoperative chemotherapy was given for 8 to 12 weeks, followed by maintenance chemotherapy for 6 to 12 months after surgical resection. Surgical resection. A correct surgical option is based on the tumor's location, and the feasibility of obtaining a wide surgical margin. Wide excision or amputation has been found to have a higher 5-year survival rate than those who received intralesional or marginal excision. The trend towards limb salvage whenever possible. Options include arthroplasty, resection arthrodesis, allograft reconstruction, and rotation plasty. Radiation. Indications. Incomplete or questionable margins to reduce the risk of local recurrence. Adjunct to traditional chemotherapy and surgical regimens. Bu slide gösterisinin hazırlanmasında ve ortopedik onkoloji bilgilerimin gelişmesinde katkıda bulunan ortopedi ve travmatoloji duayini, Sayın Prof. Dr. Rahmet Turan Aydın'a teşekkürlerimi sunarım. I want to thank Professor Ahmet Turan Aydın who contributed my orthopedic oncology knowledge and changed my life. Thanks for watching my video. Please do not forget to subscribe to my non-profit education channel.